Climate change affects us all, but in particular poor people in developing countries who are often the most vulnerable and confronted and hit hardest by its impact. Climate change is linked to hunger, poverty, exclusion, inequality, and can be a driver of insecurity and migration. It's time for us, for you and me, to take action. This is the Climate Challenge 2030. The Netherlands is committed to the Sustainable Development Goals. 17 goals to transform our world. With our work on climate change, we especially contribute to the following goals. Climate action, affordable and clean energy, and life on land. Goals that are linked to most, if not all, of the other goals. In particular, the goals on zero hunger and clean water and sanitation. We were there in Paris when 195 nations unanimously committed to avoid dangerous climate change. All countries, including the Netherlands, need to change their energy consumption and work hard to reduce CO2 emissions. In addition, we are committed to support developing countries in reaching their climate goals. What does that mean for us? How do we move from shaking hands to getting things done? The good news is that we already have experience in doing so. Let's look at some of our recent results in the areas of renewable energy, land use and forestry, and water and food security. In the period between 2004 and 2014, the Netherlands has provided 16.7 million people with access to renewable energy and we're committed to reaching another 50 million by 2030. We do this, for example, by supporting local companies that produce clean cooking stoves and install solar panels for homes. This does not only avoid CO2 emissions, but also creates employment and opens up opportunities. For example, for children to read and learn in the evening, or for women, who usually do the cooking, to avoid having to do so in a smoky environment. And with a domestic biogas system, households can produce gas for cooking from animal manure and use the remaining slurry as a powerful organic fertilizer for their crops. We also stimulate private investment in renewable energy, stimulating companies to provide their renewable energy products with soft loans to the African poor. And to build wind farms and large-scale solar power plants such as a state-of-the-art solar plant in Rwanda that generates clean energy for more than 60,000 people. Through our work on land use and forestry, we improve the lives of people who depend on forests, make them more resilient to the impacts of climate change and improve the capacity of trees to store carbon. A true triple win. We do so by fighting illegal logging and promoting supply chains that are free of deforestation. For example, by supporting Indonesia to become the first country that systematically controls, verifies and licenses legal timber produced and processed for export to European markets. Likewise, in Kenya, a part of the Mao rainforest is being protected by a community-based system that keeps out the cattle from smallholders. Dairy companies that demand zero deforestation enforce this. In another part, tea companies that are located just outside the forest serve as a buffer. In doing so, they protect the forest that provides crucial ecosystem services. By giving climate change a more central place in our programs on water and food security, we help people to become more resilient to the effects of climate change. Annually, we reach five to seven million small farmers. In Bangladesh, close to 2,000 farmer groups have been trained in new agricultural techniques. As a result, rice production has increased by 11% and fish production by 34%. And by giving pastoralists in West Africa access to satellite information, they now have better information on the availability of grazing land and water. 
In 2016, almost 10 million people in deltas and river basins benefited from Dutch water management programs that, amongst others, improved their protection against floods and resulted in substantial improvements in drainage and irrigation. Development cooperation has to be climate smart to be future-proof. We are proud of what we have achieved together with you so far. However, current policies are not enough and we have a strong ambition to scale up our efforts. We can only do this together. So, what can you do? Do you see the relevance of climate change for your work? Which opportunities do you see? Let's find out together how we can accelerate climate action. The first step is simple. Let's have a coffee, face to face, or through a video call.